schools across Devon have been given an early Christmas present after the Department of Education announced funding for upgrades and new buildings. Tiverton High School, Tipton St John, Swinbridge Church of England Primary School, Dawlish College, River Dart Academy, Tavistock College and Whipton Barton Infant School are all set to receive funding. It's part of the government's 10-year school rebuilding programme with over 13 billion being allocated since 2015. Tiverton High School was the focus of attention at the by-election held earlier this year and played a role in the Liberal Democrats overturning a huge Tory majority. In 2010, the school was named in Labour's Building Schools for Future Fund, but plans for a new building were scrapped by the Conservative Lib Dem coalition. In the past 10 years, the school has continued to show signs of deterioration, so today's announcement has been welcomed locally. It's been a long campaign um, that both the community and your local councillors have, have run together with the previous MP uh, to try and make certain that government heard the need for a new high school at Tiverton uh, and for um, the, det the deteriorating buildings that were here to be rebuilt on the other side of the road in a much better place for the future. Obviously there was disappointment in 2010 when it was announced that we weren't going to get a new school and there's been a campaign ever since then. Why has it taken 12 years to finally materialise? I think it, it, it's, it's been a long process to get there. The, the, the school that we potentially could have had in 2010 would have probably not been in the right place. It would have been a replacement in the existing place which is in a floodplain and isn't well suited for the future to allow uh, expansion uh, from where we are now. So I think actually in the long term we'll be building a school in a better place than it would have been if done then. What now for the future? When can we see this actually come to fruition? We're still looking at the detail. Devon County haven't been given all the detail as to how it works, but obviously now it's a conversation between the Department for Education who are funding this, uh, these proposals and the school to make sure that the best possible school is built on the new site and as quickly as possible for the town. A year ago, the campaign Fund Our Tiffy High was set up by fed-up parents demanding a new school built for the town. Despite today's announcement, they will continue to press for a new school fit for purpose in Tiverton. Ten years, the people of Tiverton have been waiting. And frankly, it didn't seem likely that it was possible to get a new school in Tiverton. And then uh, over the last, you know, it's remarkable that today they've announced funding for the school in Tiverton. Uh, you know, we never thought it was possible. And so we're really hoping and looking forward to a school that's fit for the excellent teachers and the determined pupils. Not celebrating too much too yet then? Well, so far all that we know is that Tiverton is a name on a list. And we don't know what the school is, what it's going to look like, you know, how many pupils it's going to be for, you know, where the site is. I know that when the Devon County Council submitted their... Um, application for it it wasn't like a massive beard with a full set of plans it was just a statement of interest so it's not clear what it is that we're going to get yet and obviously we are you know we're concerned that previous governments have made promises that they've reneged on and we're concerned that we're not going to get a school that's brilliant and you know what the pupils deserve and what the teachers deserve so we're going to keep campaigning to make sure that this town gets a school that's uh, you know, going to herald a new future. What's your message to Westminster, uh, the current government, and potentially, and it, it could be likely that we may even have a new government by the time this school is built? Well, you know, to the education ministers, thanks very much for putting us on a list. That's definitely the first stage. We're really overjoyed that we're on a list, that we haven't been left behind like we have in so many other decisions in the past. Uh, that's the first thing. Hooray! The second thing is, you know, what is it that you're promising? We want to know the detail. We want to know if it's a school that's going to be great and wonderful and fit for the purpose for this town for the next 60 years. <laughs> Elsewhere, there was Christmas cheer in North Devon. MP Selene Saxby visited Swinbridge, who will finally be moving away from their current building, which is built into a hillside where the ground has been moving. It has now reached a situation where soil and rock is piled against the back wall of the school. It's absolutely shocking. I mean, obviously, this is after the work has been done, and it is amazing the engineering that's gone in to ensure that the children can come back here because they were decamped to Chittlehampton for um, a number of weeks. But uh, as you can see, it's not sustainable, and we really do need this school to urgently move.
and parents won't have too far to travel to their new school, which will be inside of their old premises. This news is really exciting for not only the school but the whole community. It means that um, Swinbridge having a brand new primary school built um, it means that it's future proof for the next generation of children that are coming to this area and the community really deserve it. It's a fantastic family orientated community and um, we've been through a lot with the build and the move and the slope and so um, they really deserve this. Just what are the challenges that pupils face and, and teaching here at the moment? It has been challenging just managing with the um, building as it stands. We've had to move off site, we had to move to another school for a short time um, and we are delighted to be able to be back but for the future we need an, a secure future and actually the new build will give us that and down in the valley there so being able to be in sight of the old building we think it's going to be absolutely fantastic because we can keep that legacy of Swinbridge School in this area and fantastic. And an announcement on the last day of time before Christmas what a fantastic present to have. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. We're absolutely delighted um, with the announcement and with the new build going forward. Lewis Clark, Devon Live.